Okay guys, I am ready for the Savage X Fenty event and let me show you my outfit. So this is the fit, bell bottoms on the bottom. I'm wearing it with this bag, a nice little red number, a little pop of color. And I'm gonna go with the Ego shoes with this one. And because I'm late, because I'm late, I'm not even going to worry about like earrings. I just put on a few rings and a little bit of mixed metal gold i don't care like i am late i'm wearing my savage x fenty bra just to commemorate the event i straightened my hair but as you can see my flips are flopping so i gotta get to the event before all of them flops i'm not gonna take my vlog camera but i will be doing some iphone footage so i'll see you guys at the event i'm so excited and I'm late, so I will see you. Okay guys, I know I was hyping up this Fenty event and I was very excited. I was ready to get out of the house, right? And I even straightened my hair because I was like, oh yeah, let me, hold on. Okay, so I was ready, I got dressed, I'm looking cute. I did the whole Rihanna inspired outfit thing, right? So, let me sit down. What happened was I was late and I didn't make it to the event. That's it. I know you guys are going to be disappointed in me, but I didn't make it to the event. I was running late and by the time I would have gotten there, the event would have been over and I just didn't see the, the use in even trying to go any further. So I just, I just turned around and came back home. I'm sorry. I was looking forward to this event, but I was looking on social media to see, okay, a Savage X Fenty event is going on. Nobody was posting anything about it. Nobody, nada, nobody. So I'm thinking that it was probably just a store sale or something and Brianna got me all dressed up for a sale. Can you believe that? But um, I'm not gonna waste this makeup, okay? I'm gonna shoot a reel for my foodstagram page and I'm probably gonna show you guys how I make this delicious keto salad because I'm also hungry yeah I'm disappointed even if it was a sale I would have loved to have gone and see what what is going on <sighs> even though I just got some Fenty Beauty um, stuff like not even two months ago. I got like three bras and a few underwears because I love their bralettes. And guys, I stopped wearing bras because I found perfect bralettes from Fenty Beauty. So now I have like four, four or five, I think maybe four Fenty Beauty bralettes. And I've got their underwears as well. I'm wearing one of their bras right now because I was like, oh, let me wear like a Fenty beauty like bra since I'm going to a Fenty a Savage X I mean Savage I keep on saying Fenty beauty I meant Savage X Fenty because I respect the, the girl Rihanna you know I respect her but <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself because I really wanted to like be at the event and like have fun and like share with you guys, but that did not happen. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hype you up for nothing. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Forgive me. <gasps> Forgive me. So I'm going to chill out for a moment on the couch. Then I'm going to build up the strength to go into the kitchen and show you guys how I make this delicious keto vegan but even if you're a carnivore you will love this as well and i'm also going to show you guys the, the behind the scenes footage of a reel that i'm going to create for my in my foodstagram because i've been wanting to shoot this video and i haven't but since i'm all made up why not shoot it day or night let's do it so i'll catch you guys in the kitchen in a second okay hey guys i am tired and but I took a little break and I decided that, you know what, I'm going to shoot this video because I've been wanting to shoot this recipe and put it up on my Instagram page so that people can watch it and be inspired by it and recreate it or it could just flop and 10 years, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I want people to watch it, watch it people. You can tell this is me being tired, but I'm going to prop you guys up so that you guys can see me like trying to create this this real situation. Okay. See me. Just don't look at anything over there. That's the behind the scenes. Exclusive behind the scenes. Exclusive right here. How do I start a real hands? Hi guys, my name is Sadia and I want to share with you guys 
a simple keto vegan meal that you can make in seconds. Okay, so we're going to start with these pretty bad boys. Okay, so I've been away um, for work for a couple of days. Um, my work ended today. So I'm back home and I decided to pick up the camera and kind of like complete this vlog because that situation was a complete disappointment. And I, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry that that happened. I'm, I'm listening to Miss Lydia Millen Gordon. Love her. I recently found Lydia and I'm telling you, I am so happy. I've never, I was about to say I've never met, but I've never watched a YouTuber that is so much like myself and just seeking for the same kind of liberty and just like a lifestyle in terms of spirituality health wellness i am absolutely enamored by her now she's a chatterbox like if you need somebody oh my gosh i'm burning up if you need somebody to i'm in front of the fan if you can hear the fan i'm sorry if you need somebody to just chat your ear off, trust me, Lydia is your girl. <laughs> she is a chatterbox, but I love it. In a good way, in a good way. So I'm here today. I'm not looking crusty and dusty because I do not like to look crusty and dusty even when I'm at home. When I look crusty and dusty, I act crusty and dusty. So there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. I have my hair in a nice slick pony. I'm just trying a little thing with my hair right now because as you guys see the last time I tried to straighten my hair it it was it didn't become as straight as I wanted it to but it's okay it was okay not bad I used let me tell you what I used to, to straighten my hair so I use this to straighten my hair this was this was good this tried to do its thing with my hair but before that I tried to use this to blow dry my hair now I bought this at Ulta and trust me it was a good buck it was a good penny it was not cheap and I have not had this for more than six months when the top part I'm gonna show you because I don't recommend you picking up this especially if you're a curly girl like me do not pick up this hair dryer blow dryer from this brand called chi or chai or whomever this part okay so this part of the the thing it just won't stick onto it and trust i do not have the coarsest hair in the world but it broke so i had i tried taping it on i tried holding it on but it was too hot it was just such a struggle to do my hair and i don't know what to do because this was very expensive i bought it because it has this brush which i love i love the brush and the brush was doing well for me until it wasn't and then it also has this brush which i mean as a curly girl you know like you want these two things in your life but i'm so disappointed i went back to Ulta to see if i could get an exchange they said after 60 or 90 days or 30 days, I don't remember how much, they weren't able to take it back. So I'm stuck with it and it does nothing for me. But I can tell you, I got this on Amazon. This worked very well to straighten my hair. I had it set at 350, which wasn't the right setting for my hair. I should have set it to 410 because when I set it to 410, my hair was silky straight but you know as a natural girl as your hair straighten and humidity hits especially because my apartment is hot it just curls back up <laughs> so my hair was not curly for long Ooh, 
who I am sweaty. But um, so I wanted to go around the house and show you guys a few things that I've been working on in my apartment, my tiny apartment, might I add, um, because I am proud of the progress that I've made in my apartment. I have a few loaded dishes in the sink. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> And I have some packages here that I wanted to open up with you guys. So before we open up the packages, I just wanted to show you guys a few things around my apartment that I've been working on, that I'm trying to work on. Maybe you guys can give me, send me some help because I need help. And um, just help me out. Send your girl help because I don't know what to do in these situations. Okay, so first things first. First things first, let me go into the light, honey. First things first, I am a plant mom now. I am a plant mom. I have several children that I'm currently taking care of and I'm excited about it. Some of my children, I don't know what they are, but I'm working on it. So if you guys, if you guys could also help me figure out what are these children? Send me the name. I'm doing my best to take care of them. And I'm doing a good job, okay? So, now I've been wanting one of those, like, maybe I'll add it to the screen here, one of those plants, but I haven't gotten around to it because I've been seeing good one. Ooh, she is sweaty. Okay, let me, let me, let me reel it back in. I've been seeing a few on Etsy that I'm like, oh, let me go buy that. And then I saw, like, a good bunch of plants that I've, like, those are all the plants that I wanted. But the seller was in Brazil when I tried to put my order in and I was not able to get those plants. So that was a little disappointing. However, I'm still going to get the plants. It was a good price and you know, Etsy plants are, I just feel like they're quality plants and I'm working on getting the plants that I want. I want air freshening plants. I want plants that are shaped like hearts with their leaves. I want romantic green plants to fill up my apartment and to purify the air. So. I saw this hack on TikTok for like a vine plant because I want to put a vine plant right up here on this like banister and I just want it to like blow over and just drop. I'm gonna show you the plant that I'm thinking of but I have not gotten that yet but however, I saw this hack on TikTok where you just put a sweet potato in a jar and it sprouts vines like this so this I've literally just started. I mean, I, I didn't just start. I started it maybe like two months ago. And my friend, my friend, I'm telling you, all I do is just put water in here. And she is uh, growing. She's all up there. She's all the way up there on the books. She's in here. She She's just everywhere, honey. And she's growing. She's doing well. I love her. Amazing stuff. Great, great, great love it so that's one thing that I've been loving and I'm, I'm 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 happy I'm a happy plant mama okay so I have a few bamboo plants I have a few lucky bamboo plants and I've been struggling to take care of the first one that I had the first one that I had she died she died she wasn't getting enough water she wasn't getting enough excuse me she wasn't getting enough sunlight. I did not know how to take care of her. So I have two more and they, they were looking like they were about to die on me. But what I've noticed is that if I keep water in their container, they thrive. Outside of that, trying to water them like whenever they're drying out doesn't work. So I have this one here that I keep on this partition. She's looking a little... You know, but the main thing and focus is that she's sprouting new leaves. If you can see, let me show you. She's sprouting new leaves and she's she's getting better. I think she's getting better. So I just keep water in there. I try to make sure that there's nothing bad growing in the water. And I'm gonna try to like change out the water and just like refill it. But this is what, what matters to me, keeping my plants alive. So that's that. Over here, I have a few more plants. I have my owl plant, which is doing great. She sprouted a new little stem just 
a couple weeks ago. I have this like wild orchid. I think that's what it's called. She's doing very well. I have this plant. Her leaves were browning. I thought she was dying, but she is sprouting new growth and she's doing very well. And then my other bamboo plant is also doing very well i also have two orchids that i'm working on this one doesn't look so good because i haven't watered her in days but she stopped flowering i cut off the stem and did everything that they said i should do from this tiktok that i watched i just need to take off this leaf oh oh she came off well now you're seeing that just came off so that she can you know then I have another one in the bathroom up there. She's doing well as well. I can't wait for these to flower again. A little style detail in my bathroom are these curtains. Oh my gosh, I love them. I just, I'm just, I'm just very happy with my cow print bathroom curtain. I've wanted that curtain for a while and then I saw it on Amazon and it just made me happy that it was just so affordable and yeah. And then I have this other plant over here. She is doing very well. It's this air plant. She's doing well, honey. She's thriving in that little corner over there. So I'm not too worried about her. I just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I've been loving that's been taking up my time and I'm loving being a plant mom. I know a lot of people are like, Sadia, calm down. It's just plants. But you don't know when you live by yourself and you don't have lots of friends around in your like area. Like, it's, it's everything. My plants talk to me, especially her. I feel her energy all the time. Like if I'm pruning her and she doesn't want me to like take a leaf off, she indicates to me that do not do that and I respect her, okay? I just don't. There's a few projects in my apartment that I want to undertake that I just don't know what to do and maybe you guys can help me i don't know okay so my reading nook my last upload i talk about this like reading nook that i'm working on my reading nook is basically a chair and some artwork in a corner <laughs> that is my reading nook but i've been searching and made attempts to make this cushion for this chair and i've just been coming up with the end of the stick okay so i went downtown to the fashion district downtown la and i got this material to like reupholster the cushion for this chair this chair is like an ikea chair i'm gonna share the chair with you guys in a few seconds this chair is an ikea chair but somehow ikea does not have a replacement cushion for it they have similar chairs with their cushions but this particular chair ikea does not have a cushion for it this was a chair that i picked up on the side of the road at somebody's house in Santa Monica, like when I parked my car at the beach. Another guy was looking at the chair and I was like, oh, that looks nice. And he said, oh, go ahead, have it. And I was like, for reals? And he was like, yeah. And so I fell in love with the chair. It's going in the theme of my apartment, you know? It's that hint of like wood and it's very like minimalistic. I'm gonna show you guys the chair and show you guys like the reading note. Okay, so this is the chair. You see it's giving negative space. It's giving minimalist. It's giving... It's just giving everything that I want it to give. Evidently, I want the chair to be like slanted like that, looking out the window. This is the artwork for my reading nook. I want to have artwork all the way to the ceiling off this wall. I got some little decorative elements here. I just need to repaint this because I had put some, some clothing item on here to dry and it stained this so I just need to repaint this. So I went and I got this material downtown LA. It's like this canvas material. I don't want to take it out of the bag and this batting. Okay, so when I got the material, I went to get the batting. When I found the batting, I asked the guy who was selling me the batting if he knew off anywhere where I could just get this cushion made. He said, yeah, he could make it. I could have it in a few weeks, blah, blah, blah. It's this like European guy. I don't know if he's Russian, Bulgarian. I don't know what he was speaking, honey, but he said he would make the cushion. He did make the cushion, but the cushion was smaller than the original cushion that I gave him as a reference. So I was just like, 
so disappointed because it's not like I gave you measurements that was wrong I literally gave you the actual cushion that was on the chair so that you can make it so how could you make it make it smaller than it is and then try to give it to me and pin it off as perfection you know it's just like honey like am I five like add some respect to my name you know add some respect to my intellect but I dealt with it very womanly and very maturely and I just asked him very kindly for my full refund and he also had the canvas material so he gave me the canvas material and funnily enough he tried to give me the canvas material with stains on it and I just had to say while he was cutting it that there is stains on it and I do not want that part so so it would be nice if you gave me a part that does not have stain on it so he did make a cut without the stains and I left feeling just disappointed I went to like three or four other places to get this cushion made and I've just not been having the best luck trying to get this cushion made I don't know if I'm asking for too much, it's literally a simple cushion that goes on these chairs. So I don't know why everybody seems so busy. I have money. I can pay. It just seems like nobody can make these cushions. Oh, my hair can't have these flyaways like telling me. But anyways, I'm still trying to look for somebody to make these cushions. I could put like a photo of the chair on there. I don't know. Somebody help me, send help. I'm in Los Angeles, California, in the Hollywood area. I just need cushions made for my chair. That would be nice. I just wanna sit in this chair, especially in the evening into nighttime, read books, look out the window, try to see the stars at the side of this building, <laughs> try to look at the moon and just get inspired and just read a lot. Maybe play my guitar in this chair as well. I don't know. I just want this chair to be reupholstered with nice new material and nobody will help me. I just, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Send help. Anyways, so that's a major project that I'm working on. Another thing is this like stand. I want to fill it with plants and just have this be a plant situation because this area around here is like my meditation area, my prayer area, my chanting area. That's a butsudan. If you don't know what's a butsudan, look it up. So I just want some plants here to just cover this area and provide some air purification, some privacy and just some beautiful scenery so I'm thinking of like little you know those like hanging plant situations that you just like tie on to something like this and it just falls on different levels I'm thinking about that with like three of them just hanging cute little accents on the side just stuff like that another thing is that I'm working on these shelves I bought these shelves on Wayfair and I am decorating them so if you see them and they look plain in the background they're not finished being decorated okay I have a whole plan and situation for these these shelves are so cool they have lights that just turn on on them they hold like a maximum of like 20 pounds and I just want this to be very minimalistic and chic and cute and just like a moment you know I think it's gonna be like very much like neutral colors black maybe a hint of red like this neutrally kind of like beige or off white and just like you know that situation so that's what I got for over here that's what I'm working on getting decorative pieces for there yeah and then above my desk there's this space right up here and I just don't know what to do I, I would love to have I'm gonna put it on the screen what I would love to have up here just like I see a girl on Pinterest like making these like floral situations I'd love to have like a floral like sculptural thing on there with maybe some hanging plants coming down to the side or to the sides I want to get like a little gold mail basket here where I can put my mail I'm working on that for my desk situation because the desk is just not desking okay and don't even think about this because my, my my calendar has just been full I've just been putting it in my diary that is right here so that's about it for the projects that I am working on for 
my for my apartment oh i lie i kid i'm also working can't show you the dirty dishes can i i'm also trying to fix my kitchen table this is my kitchen table right here i'm trying to okay let me tell you my kitchen table is round right and it has like four legs i want one of those legs that just sits in the middle and it's kind of like a little cylinder and it like comes out at the end because I'm telling you trying to sit at this table sometimes is just a struggle and I just don't like it I also plan on refinishing the top of the table with yeah guys I was thinking that I refinish this table in resin and add some darks to it like a black with some gold and some clear and some white and just make it really pretty and just like refurbish and renew because as you guys already know i love to upcycle i love to refresh things i do not believe in just throwing things out just because they've gotten old or gotten broken or gotten shipped or whatever this table has some little defects and i think refinishing it with resin and getting like one of those legs that those one legs i'll show you guys what that looks like and just doing like a marble effect would be a great finish to this table okay also i wanted to show you guys that i've also been painting lately i've been painting at my kitchen table i've been painting outside in my courtyard and it has been very therapeutic my therapist claimed that i should be selling my painting but um she's just hyping me up because this ain't ready for the gallery yet okay but what was amazing about painting is that when i started painting i just was painting something that was in my head if you guys know me then you know that i studied art in high school and i went to an art college so i'm a visual and a performing artist i said visual arts in high school i majored in textile but I had to paint and draw and everything as well and in college I studied theater and music so I started painting because I've I've lived in in the Americas for about nine ten years now and I came here as a striving artist wanting to manifest my dreams and my goals and it has just been like an uphill battle or I've had struggles as an artist like trying to be a full-time artist in America um, it's getting better now and I'm I'm more free and able to do what I love to do but I've just been having these lumps of I don't know if I'm resisting but my creative flow my creative energy isn't pouring out of me like it normally did and I thought if I just distract myself from music if I distract myself from acting and just pour myself into a different art form I will start flowing in that art form hence perhaps my music will flow through me again so I just that I've got some supplies on Amazon because quick easy I don't have to leave my house <laughs> and I started painting and the funny thing is that I thought I was painting this flower outside of my head girl I was on one of my morning walks because I started walking keto vegan intermittent fasting dinga step challenge I, I'm, I'm like on a whole level honey like I'm on a whole level okay and I've just been on the grind getting my life together because my body was out of whack my health was out of whack my physical well-being was out of whack and I had to make some changes and I'm telling you the changes that I've made you could deem them as drastic but they've actually been working and have been helping me and so I started painting this flower out of my head girl out of my head I never know that this flower existed and I was on one of those walks on my morning walks walking up to Griffith Park because Griffith Park is in my neighborhood and tell me why let me go in on my Jamaican accent now because the real Jamaican girl is coming out now tell me why <laughs> I saw this plant on a tree and I was like what the F what the F I listen I've walked on that street before and I've never taken notice of that flower I've never seen in my mind I've never seen that flower I've never seen that flower before but girl the flower was exactly 
exactly the same flower on that tree and I'm from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of my subconscious my conscious mind I've never seen if I if I've ever seen this flower I would have taken notice because flower child here I identify as a flower child and as a empath so if I'd seen this flower girl trust me I would notice it because I'm the one to be going in people's front yard and picking their flowers or taking photos of their flowers very randomly so <laughs> if if I'd seen this flower I would have taken a photo of it now I'm talking a lot about this flower girl because I was just so enamored with joy because when I was painting I was thinking this is so insignificant I am I'm nothing that I do is important in this world I was just feeling like I have not contributed anything to existence and when I saw this flower all of that just fell away from me because I learned that everything that I do is significant everything that I do is important no matter how small no matter how minuscule I feel it is it's important because girl let me show you what I've been working on it's not done don't judge me I, I need to change my flowers out but this is what I've been working on and I'm going to put the plant that I saw right next to it it looks just the same it has the five petals it has like the yellowing in the middle I thought I was creating something new but God already created it so don't look at this 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 needs to be changed but this is what I've been working on so I started with these lines because I thought I was going to paint something eclectic and like cool and just like wavy and stuff stuff and then I thought okay let me add the blue make it like the sky and then I started painting these flowers on top of it and then I saw the flowers that I was painting and I was like what that is freaky and weird because I thought I was painting something out of my head I thought I was doing something new but God already did it so in my mind this is how I took this now this is what I told my therapist I said um so this is what I feel right it's like I was walking feeling very insignificant and you know up in the clouds before I came to earth I knew I was going to have this moment right and so I created these beautiful flowers and sprinkled it down to earth as a flower child right and so when I was at my lowest moment in this physical life I was going to re-meet the flower that I created when I was in the clouds and it was going to ignite a fire in me to make me know that I am significant and that's what I told my therapist <laughs> And that's what I believe, okay? Um, yeah, so before I keep rambling on, I have a few packages that I wanna open with you guys. I have a few things from Amazon. I have some, I have an event that I think those are the items that came for the event that I have to go to. So let's open these packages together and see what I got. Also, did I show you guys my outfit for today? I'm not looking drab, I promise you. I'm wearing this cute little top. I don't remember where I got this. I'm probably gonna link it down below ties at the side and then I'm wearing this cute little skirt I don't remember where I got this either I've had this maybe for over three years now but I'll probably um link where I got it down below but I love this it makes me feel like I'm like Afro Latina <laughs> it makes me feel like I need to stop <laughs> Okay, so let's let's open my Amazon packages and see what is in here. I think I know what's in here because my nail just left the party. Don't ask me why. It's over there on the table. I got this clear gloss NML because I'm gonna do some DIY stuff, okay? So, Nice. I got this copper tone glowing shimmer. It's like a, a SPF and it says it's free of oxybenzoate, octinoxate, PABA, and thiolates. And it's water resistance for up to 80 minutes. I got some sunburn on my chest from going to the beach so I, I know I needed a new sunblock because my face sunblock was not going to spread all over my body honey but this one's supposed to have shimmer in it so I'm just going to spray it a little and see if it has shimmer open oh I see the shimmer already ooh 
she is glitzy I don't, i'm not sure if you guys are seeing that it has like little gold specks in there in comparison to this dry hand let's see and this is something that you need all year round especially if you're going out in la it has little gold specks i'm not sure if you can see that there we go nice little gold specks in there in comparison to to this one and it's water resistance that's nice lovely how lovely is that i've never had a, a sunscreen lotion spray that's like this so i'm i'm quite happy about it oh lord okay another amazon purchase let's see what this is thing was oh, i think i bought this to put my mirror up because I recently replaced my mirror because the last one fell and broke and I replaced my mirror and bought this to put it up no I don't know how effective this is gonna be I don't know I have drywall and I just need to put up heavy-duty things so these are these they look like that and then there's a hook that you put it in there i'm hoping this is strong enough because it said it, it holds up to about 35 pounds and that mirror is about nine pounds or so and it gives a little instructional on here so hopefully this works i might show you guys me trying and testing to see if this actually works to hold that mirror on the wall so that's that I have this other packet. I believe this is from Shein. I am going to an event. Hopefully you guys come on this one with me <laughs> this time. So I volunteer at this outreach program in my neighborhood. I serve hot meals to homeless people in my community. And so they're having a volunteer appreciation day and I envisioned myself wearing a butterfly costume or dress, you would say, to the event with like sneakers and just being comfortable because we're supposed to be down dancing and I was searching for a dress to wear and I couldn't find anything on any other website that envisioned my vision but Chien. So I saw the dress of my dreams, guys. I don't know how well this is going to fit me, but this is the dress. She's like a baby doll dress. I don't know how well this is going to fit, but we'll see if I wear this to the event. Now, this is a religious program. So if this doesn't come close to my knee, I'm definitely not gonna wear it because I don't want Want to make people uncomfortable especially in their own space but I just wanted to wear like butterflies and flowers look how pretty that is with my complexion oh my gosh I was looking for something a little bit like longer that just kind of flared out and I couldn't find anything online except for on Shein so I know it's fast fashion I know I know but guaranteed I'll wear this in like something again honestly i don't throw my shit away and if i don't wear it in something i'll donate it to like our local theater the costume department or something because this is cute and i also got a few other items with that so knowing that that was so short i thought i would pick up some shorts or leggings to wear underneath of it so this is them I'm not sure how well this is gonna fit me so i thought i would wear something cute underneath my dress i thought these were gonna be a little bit taller this one has a nice little butterfly on it which goes in theme with the dress because the dress has butterflies so I thought okay let me put something underneath the dress because I'm thicker right now and my legs rub and I don't like that and I don't like to wear skirts or dresses without some kind of protection underneath of it like shorts just to cover my bum you know because it's wide and it's big and you know you got to protect yourself and then I thought that I would wear some cute socks. Now these socks seemingly don't go with the dress. Do they go with the dress? But I thought I would get some cute little socks. I didn't want to get pink socks because I feel like that would be too much. And then I couldn't find purple socks or blue socks to be in like an accent color of the dress. So I thought, okay, let me just get black because I'm wearing my Nikes because they say food, music, and dance. I don't, I don't have any other dancing shoes, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Nothing flat that I want to wear. I have some Nine West Oxfords that are like patent leather that I could wear, but since I got those shoes a couple years ago, and I'm telling you, those Nine West shoes last a while, they still have not like broken into my foot. Every time I wear them, I have blisters all over my toes and the back of my feet. And it's just like, if I'm gonna be dancing, I want to be comfortable. And what is my most comfortable shoes right now? My Nikes. And they're pink and they're black and they have gray in them. They're my running shoes. However, I'm gonna be 
probably the most overdressed up there. I, I know that for sure and I'm gonna love that attention. So if I'm wearing like a cute Philly dress and like you know like these dusted up shoe I'm gonna clean my shoe by the way so they're not gonna be too dusty but it's like these rough shoes to just like offset all the cuteness with these black socks I feel like that would be a good look especially for dancing I'm probably gonna be the only one dancing except for my my little um friend up there that you know that's always like playing around with me and messing up he's so much fun <laughs> I think we're probably gonna be the only one dancing because we're like the only ones that are kind of like outgoing up there everybody else is kind of like laid back and I can be laid back but I'm a fun bubble especially when it comes to like party and dancing I'm Jamaican that's what I live for dancing I'm not gonna be whining my waist up there <laughs> but I'm going to do the best appropriate thing <laughs> So that was all my packaging. <sighs> I have just a few things that I want to get done before the day is done because it's like, I don't know, maybe six now. I want to use that NML to finish off this little project that I have going. I'll probably take you guys outside so that we can do that together. And then I want to share with you guys this cute little recipe for a salad that I want to do. Hopefully my greens are still intact because like I said at the start, of the vlog I've been away for a couple of days and I just got back in so some food in the refrigerator may not still have their shelf life popping you know so I'm hoping that they do because that would be nice because I would like to eat <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, yeah or I can just go to go get some groceries tomorrow and share my recipe with you guys then but I do have to go away for work again tomorrow so I wanted to share that with you guys and let that be the end of the vlog so I'll catch you guys outside I'm going to take a minute to sit down rest my legs rest my mouth because I've been it chateau box and so i'm going to leave you guys for a moment and i'll catch you outside catch your house out about that <laughs> let, let me try that again catch you outside how about that i think i think that's how she said it catch you outside how about that catch catch you outside how about that <laughs> okay i'm I, i'll practice off screen okay i'll see you i'll see you guys outside hi guys i am back so i know the last time i said catch me outside how about that i did not go outside sorry <laughs> i sat on the couch and i was watching a few youtube videos and i just got tired and i had to force myself to come into the kitchen to even make something to eat even though i was hungry that's how tired i was but i still wanted to show you guys how i make this delicious like quick vegan salad which is also keto which is also gluten free let me get my tripod here so that I can prop you guys up and show you what exactly I put into the salad. Okay. okay, so we're starting off with some arugula. Dr. Burke said arugula is really good for you, especially on keto. It's a really good green. I can't remember what he was saying that's in here. I don't remember if it's K2 or if it's calcium. I love arugula anyway, so that's sore beef. Now we're going to sprinkle on some tofu onto this. I just fried up some tofu. Nothing special I wish I had cornstarch to make it a little crispy I had planned to color this tofu with food coloring but I forgot next I'm going to just sprinkle on some cauliflower onto this this is just cauliflower that was like fried or sauteed in olive oil so was the tofu so that's good fat now I have lots of olives I love olives we're just gonna put lots of olives in here Try to gather them around. I'm just gonna finish off these olives because I could eat olives tonight. I, I promise you I could eat olives tonight. I need all the sodium I could get. These olives are great, love olives. So far, this is what our style is looking like. I also made some like slaw. I made like a reel of this on my Instagram page. It's just like a really good slaw to mix in with anything to have as a snack. I'm gonna add some of that to the salad. It has some edamame in there, which makes it protein rich and delicious. I'm gonna kind of like mix this up. Okay, we're gonna put our salad to the side. I've got a ramekin, I've got some tahini. I'm just gonna squeeze 
some tahini in here, about that much. I've got some salt here. Just gonna drop some salt in there. We're gonna add some black pepper, garlic powder, some paprika, red crushed peppers, some nutritional yeast. So we're looking like this right now. And we're gonna add some lemon, some lemon juice. Then we're going to mix, mix, mix. Some more lemon juice over that. So our salad, we're going to add some avocado. This is what we're looking like so far. We've got lots of good stuff in here. We've got avocado, olive oil, good fats. We've got cauliflower, a slaw, which is like really good for keto. Sauerkraut and kimchi is also good for keto. We've got olives in here. I made this tahini dressing and we're also gonna add an additional homemade dressing to this. So I'm just gonna spread this sporadically, kind of like cheese. It's, it tastes very cheesy, this um, tahini sauce. So I'm just gonna spread that over. I'm gonna use all of this. I love when my salads are nice and fatty and creamy and just really good. Okay, so I'm a girl who loves to make her own salad dressing. I just get a kick out of it, then I know exactly what's inside of it. Um, as you guys could tell, I look a little tired because I am a little tired. <laughs> If you can tell what bottle this is, then you're a genius. Leave in the comment what bottle do you think this is that I put this dressing in. If you thought soy sauce, yes. It is the cook, the, is it the Kukuman? Kikiman? Chikiman. Tikiman. <laughs> it's the Kikiman, like, low sodium soy sauce bottle. I always upcycle my bottles. And if I don't upcycle them, I sell them on Facebook Market and on Let Go where other people can use them. So in here I have garlic, olive oil, lemon. I've got some, lots of spices in here. Garlic powder, possibly ginger and ginger powder, uh, red pepper flake. Almost everything that I put into that seasoning is in here, but the base is olive oil. So I just made it in a bowl and then use a funnel to put it in here and I keep it in the refrigerator and this is like a good keto dressing and now we're just gonna sprinkle that all over the salad and I like to use a lot because you know keto is high fat low carb not low calorie but low carb so I like to add that as well to a salad and I don't just eat salads and keto I, I like eat really good food I'll share some more keto recipes with you guys and that is it. That is my keto salad. And look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Got so much good stuff in here. And I can tell you this. If you are carnivore, you can use chicken or fish or salmon is a good one for keto. If you're vegan and you're allergic to, to soy, you could use tempeh as your protein. You could use seitan. There's so much vegan substitute for meat right now on the market. I, I have quite a few. I love Gardein products and I even have a Gardein minced beef in the refrigerator. Like if you have any kind of simple salads that you just want to make quick and you want to add some protein, you can just throw that in there. It's really good. It's clean. It's minimal ingredients. I love Gardein products. So I was planning on putting the Gardein in here, but then I forgot. I'm tired. Honestly, guys, I think this is going to be the end of this particular vlog. I love Catch Me Outside DIY project has to wait for the next vlog or until until I decide that I want to go finish that up. But I'm glad that I got to share this dressing, this keto vegan salad. You can obviously make it however you want. You don't have to use everything that I have in here. The recipe for this should be on my um, Foodstagram page. I made a reel making this. I hold, I hold that reel before I put out this video so that you can go to see how exactly I made this. This is also very good for keto. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you watched to the end of this 
my gosh, God bless you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you for watching, and I can't wait to see you on my next video. This is so good. Some protein, some veggie, avocado. So delicious, I love it. Mm. You can always 